Hey guys, I'm Julian from Cousins and Johnson, and today I'm just going to give you guys all the information you need to know about salvage denim. Um, right here, I have a pair that I've worn, and this is a brand new pair. They're the same size, same brand, making them famous, and this way I can prepare it up and just give you all the info you need for when you're buying yourself a pair. The first thing that you should know about Savage Denim is that it's spun on old style looms and it hasn't been washed. So after it's dyed, that's just it. So um, as you can see, it's very stiff when you first get it. And it feels stiff. But after wear, this is how it ends up looking. It's, it gets a lot looser and the denim really looks great. And this pair hasn't been washed. And as you can see from pressure points of where you would sit or where stuff is rubbing against, um, it just, it starts to break down and it gets a lot more comfortable. But another process within this breaking down of the jean is that it stretches. When I was first buying Silva's denim, I, um, I had real trouble figuring out sizing. Um, where I live, there isn't retailers that sell any good salvage denim and online would say you know order a size down but I wasn't really sure but here I can show you exactly how it looks all right right here you can see this is the jean and where do they show size oh here we go Right there, this is broken twill, size 33. You can see right there, and this jean is the same. Broken twill, size 33. This one hasn't been washed. This one hasn't been washed yet either, but this one has been worn for six to eight months. And if you look at the difference right there, I mean that's significant and this is just from normal everyday wear. The jean stretches maybe it looks like an inch so a total of two inches around the waist. So when you're buying them initially they're gonna fit tight around the waist but it's not gonna take long for them to loosen up and so this is why they say buy your salvage denim a size down because of this this stretching right here uh, another thing I wanted to mention about getting your denim is that to me this type of denim is the best it always comes long and for me someone that's tall the length is important and the quality is just unmatched also as you wear it you get your own personal like your own personal creases and I know people have seen jeans that have fake creases and sometimes not matching to the leg. So, I mean, having a pair where you get to start from, from blank, to me is great. Now, they can be pricey. I believe these are 140, but usually you can just wait till sales. Um, stuff always goes on sales, and that's where I got these two pairs on sale, and I'm actually selling these. So, if anyone's interested in size 33. And now I'm going to wash these for the first time. This is my first pair of salvage denim. I wore it, like I said, six to eight months. And now I'm going to wash it. So I have my container here and the wool light dark. One more thing, guys. Again, these two are the same style and same size. This pair right here has been worn. This pair hasn't been. But as you can see, the jean really changes as you wear it. And I, I like how these end up looking a lot more. I mean, you can just tell that they've been worn, but every pair that you get is going to be different. And this is basically a, a blank canvas. Another thing, guys, is that generally with salvage denim, inside you have that red strip right here and here and 
these jeans came with them, but I had mine tapered from like the knee down. Uh, as you can see, if I pull it in for the inside of the jean, you can see that it's still here. See that red lining, and that is usually the indicator of a, a salvage pair of denim. But when you get it tapered, you lose it just because the way it's done. So, when, for someone like me, I don't like my pants to come down at the knee and then bulge out. So I always tend to get them tapered from here down. I think it's a great way to get pants to fit truly to you without having to pay a high price. Usually what I like to do is get the jeans on sale and then use the money I saved to get them tailored. Now, just a reminder that you will lose the red line, and um, it just depends if the fit is worth it for you or not. All right, now I'm just gonna put a little bit of uh, wool light dark in there just so I can keep the color. take the jean the one that I've worn for six to eight months because again there's no real point in washing them before that just because they won't sustain the markings so that looks really good at a second wash put it in Um, you can choose to agitate any parts that you want. I'm going to add a little bit more soap. And then you let, you let it sit for 45 minutes and then we'll check on it when it's done. All right. After you wash, you want to let your denim hang dry. And uh, you're gonna check on it in a couple hours. It should be all ready. I washed these jeans. Um, let them sit 45 minutes in warm water. Rinse them out. Let them air dry. Um, as you can see, they're still very dark. Very similar to how they were before wash, but they're starting to get the stress marks here, a little bit here, um, back here, a little bit. Down there is some like pocket area. And they shrunk around the leg. I had to like wear them in, but the waist stayed stretched. So the waist will stay the, the size I showed you before. I was stretched up about an inch. Last thing I want to show you guys is as you see these crinkles here, you see how they they match the bottom of my leg? This this small reason is a big reason to why people purchase salvage denim instead of denim like this, which I'm gonna show. As you can see these marks were made before they were bought and and just to wash it this denim is what this denim is gonna look like but all these marks are going to be yours. So like these marks here, you see I'm creating my own that match up with my leg. Um, again, these marks here, you can see they're getting cut straight. They're not really natural moving marks. And because these jeans are trying to imitate the effect that you get from wearing a jean like this for a long time. So, that's another plus to salvage denim. You get to have a vintage look like this that people are paying for, so it's ripped or whatever, but it's actually created by you instead of being bought. So after a couple more washes, these jeans end up looking similar to this, but all of the marks that are made are from you. So whatever stains or creases, it's all for you and it matches your leg unlike generic markings increases. Alright guys, thanks for watching. 
I hope that helped you guys um, in picking or buying the jeans or how to wash them. I hope I answered all your questions. Um, follow us on Instagram at Cousins and Johnson. And that's it. Thanks, guys.